I'm going to show you how to replace the motor mounts on a 2006 CLS 500 uh, Mercedes-Benz. So the motor mounts are located right here. This is on the passenger side and on the driver's side, just down there. So I've already removed the engine cover, all this stuff here, just pulls right out. Got my new motor mounts waiting here. This is a special little offset wrench that you're gonna need. Well, it'll make it a lot easier if you have this that you can get, just Google it on Amazon, it's less than 20 bucks. It's called a offset wrench. And then I've removed all of the splash guards from underneath, which again, just a bunch of eight millimeter bolts to remove these splash guards. So as you can see, the motor mounts are right here. The one on the passenger side, it's kind of difficult to get to it. And you basically have, or to pull it out, you basically have two choices um, coming out through the top or the bottom. If you go out through the top, you're gonna have to move the alternator and the AC pump out of the way on the driver's side, the AC compressor. If you come out the bottom, you can just uh, remove the exhaust, drop the exhaust so you can get it out, which is the way I'm gonna do it. So, as you can see right here, let me see if you can see that. There's your exhaust flange. Okay, so those bolts came out. Not too much problem there. I used it, it was a uh, 13 inch or a 13 millimeter with a uh, 12 inch extension on the socket to get those out. No big deal there. Maybe some PB blaster because there's high temperature. Um, also, there is a bracket here that holds the exhaust. So those were a 12 millimeter, took those off. And then further back, there's another bracket. You can see it laying on the ground there that holds the, the uh, cats right there up. And uh, those are a 45T Torx fitting. So like the star shaped thing. So a 45T Torx on those. So one on this side as well, the other bracket. So not too big of a deal there. Those are dropped out of the way. I should have enough room now to take the motor mounts out. So the next thing is gonna be to loosen the bolt on top of the motor mount. Let me crawl out of here and I'll show you. As you can see, there's a, there's a bolt that goes right on the top of the motor mount, the one that's in there. This is the new one. And this is where you're gonna need this offset wrench that you can get it up underneath there to get it on top of the motor mount and then you're, you'll are you need a um, ratchet with an extension, probably an 18 inch extension to go down to this so you can pop it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those top bolts and I'll be back. So here's what it looks like with the, uh, the offset wrench on the top bolt. Got my 18 inch extension and the ratchet. So I'll go ahead and uh, break that thing loose and, and pop it off this side and just do the same on that side. So just to give you an idea what you're working with down there, you've got the, the motor mount right there. I've, I've pulled the top bolt out already, this is the new one. But just to show you, this is that offset wrench and you can see you've got the, uh, the manifold right above it so you have very little room. So this, the way this works, this thing just goes in here, you slip it on top by feel, then you put your extension on here and makes it possible. Um, I would highly recommend getting this. I think it was 11 bucks. So again, it's a 16 millimeter um, offset wrench. There's the Mercedes part number, MVZ1051B. And it's uh, available on Amazon for like 11 bucks. But once you once, uh, initially broke the, the threads on this, the rest could be done by hand, so it was very easy. So as long as you got the right tool. All right, now we'll get underneath. So here's the underside. There's your engine mount up there. Here's the single bolt holding it in on the bottom. You got one on the top and one on the bottom. Um, that looks like a, a 12 or 13 millimeter right there. So I'm gonna bust that off and we should be able to pull it out. 
Okay, got a little ahead of myself. Before we remove that bottom screw, we need to, we have the whole weight of the engine on those mounts. So we have to lift the engine up a little bit. So just took a jack right on here, stuck it right under the oil pan. Be careful, you don't wanna hit any hoses or anything. Um, and just jack it up about one inch and then I just stuck a piece of um, two by four underneath there to hold it up just to get the weight off the top of the uh, motor mount. Now they should easily, yeah, you can see it's loose. So now I can pull them out from the back. So just gotta, gotta jack the engine up just about an inch. Don't go too far. And be careful you're on the oil pan, which typically isn't a good place, but um, if you use some two by fours like this to spread the distribution of the weight, it's it'll be okay. Okay, that was easy. Once you get the engine up, they come right out. Um, you can see here on the top part of the bracket where the top bolt was, there's a little notch. So that's to help you align your new one when you put it in. You need to make sure you get them in the right way because the heat shield goes on one direction also to shield them from the exhaust. So if you look at the motor mount, you can see it's got this little guy here, which lines up with that notch and then your heat shield goes on, which is up here, which I've already taken off. It's got the little hole in it too to line up with that notch. So it all lines up, just make sure you're getting them in there right. And to see why we're replacing these, you can see the oil that's in here is just running right out. So the seal is broken. The, uh, the other one doesn't even have any oil left in it. It's completely shot. So these uh, Mercedes motor mounts have oil in them, um, which uh, gives you a nice smooth ride when they go out like this then uh, you're not going to have that Mercedes ride it's going to ride more like a BMW burn okay they're in so just put everything back in tightened up the bolts and we're good to go the definitely the most difficult part of this putting them back in was um, making sure everything's lined up so just take your time, make sure on the top that these little uh, keys here line up with the, the slots in the brackets on the actual motor itself. And uh, get those lined up, slowly lower the engine. Also, just as an FYI, um, I had to crank the, uh, jack the engine up more than one inch because my, uh, uh, old ones that I took out had collapsed so much that there wasn't enough room to put them in there. It had fallen down, so I had to go up more than that. An inch to get them out, I had to go up higher to get the new ones in just because they wouldn't fit, but no big deal. Just had to, to just be careful doing it, go slow. And uh, that's it. That's how you install motor mounts for your Mercedes.